three right here. Yep. I'll tell you that. You know, if I was Vegas, I'd make this line about minus this one. I'd make this line about yeah, minus 140. Yeah, Eddie, come back about one, 115 for Dave Kaiton. All right, we started right off the bat. Eddie Villarreal wraps a three in there. Nice little shot. It's a big shot. My, blew not. this game wide open right off the bat. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Dave was trying to, to double stick that, and he bumped it to what looks like a four. We have action, folks. We, we have lots have of action. action. This, could be, this could be a one-framer. Um, Yeah, this so, could be interesting. Eddie can't take away both shots here. Let's see what he does. He might try to split this short one out. We'll see. So he's going to cover the combo. Yeah, that's a smart play. But Dave can still come in there from the other side, I think, with the free hand and clip the four off, which is what he's trying to do. Tried for the combo, clipped it out. Now he's in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, especially with Eddie's hammer coming. Uh, not this weight, of course. It's the third weight. He's probably going to cover that That blue. He's trying to bury wow. one is what he's doing. Very aggressive. I like it. I like it. It's my kind of game. Don't be a four. Oof. Four's no good there. <laughs> You know, if Eddie would have liked a four there, Dave covers pretty good. Eddie's in a world of hurt. Let's see what we got here. Is he still trying to go for that combo right down the middle? He's going for the combo. Did he throw it? He didn't throw it. Oh, man. So here we go. Uh, you know, I, I don't – I mean, you can push for it. You can push for it here. Oh, uh, you push for it. I, I make a deuce push here. I, I do not push for a three. Oh, there's some people who go for the deuce push and there's others that try to get out the first frame. So well, I think we know what you I want. Will, I will tell you uh, the most enjoyable experience of my shuffleboard <laughs> life is getting out on somebody in the first frame. I mean, it is just you know, fist pumping, woo-hooing, woo-hoo. I don't think he got past that weight. Yeah, it's a smart uh, ah. it's a smart lag. It's a soft. I mean, if he would have thrown that three lag, I mean, he could have he could have really done some damage to himself by bumping that up, or lagging a four. I mean, just like he almost did with his third weight. Hey, but four four zero is a great spot to be in. Again. I guess it was a three. I thought I thought it was a four. Oh wow. Okay. So he definitely had the green light there. Oh yeah, abs it. absolutely, absolutely. So we got 3-0 here. Yeah, and everybody at home, if, if uh, you aren't cut up to speed yet, Josh Duddle played Warren Goldsmith in the first round uh, off off camera here. Uh, he snuck out of it. Got him 7-6 in the rubber. 7-6 in the rubber. Snuck by is the exact words you should use. And Marcus Cepeda, that would be me, uh, overcame Travis Ward. Like we're saying, there are a lot of upsets in this game. There lot, lot it, it's not the better player that always comes out. However, uh, I did lag a three uh, with one working from three to get out. And, and then, then I lagged, lagged a four from a, six three. A clean board four. A clean board four. From six three uh, for the uh, You don't see that every match. day. No. No, it was uh, incredible, actually. It was nearly impossible for lag, actually. You got a fist goes. pump out of Marcus. It was more of a Tiger Woods <laughs> drain the 18th hole, <laughs> Masters fist pump. Uh, okay, oh, wow. now Eddie, very uncharacteristic there. Eddie was trying to soft stick that, so I believe. So much for that 3-0 lead, huh? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. I think Dave's lagging with three working here. So now he'll give it a good deuce push and hope for something better. I 
looks pretty good. This could hurt. Oh, wow. This could hurt. No six ball coming back. Yep. That's a big swing right there. You know, some of these games can be fairly un uneventful. Um, some of them can just be mind-bogglingly difficult to comprehend, difficult to... I mean, right now we have... They've played two frames, and it's 6-3. We're, we're one point away. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. the action is just fast and furious. Now, it can be slower, but you get a lot of games like this as well. You know, I, I think this game's got a lot of promise to it, especially these younger players. Uh, you know, they're looking for instant gratification. They want, uh, they want to just play, 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 play. They don't want to come in the bar, you know, uh, shuffleboard bar and, and play a game to 15 against, you know, some older guys that take their time, smoke a cigarette in between frames. I mean, the game could last 45 minutes, an hour in a game to 15. And, you know, this game, uh, often I'll play this game when the, when the bar's closing up or when they're trying to get everybody together to get another draw, I'll say, hey, let's play, let's play a game of Texas Maze. And, you know, by the time they're ready for the draw, we've already played three games. Um, this is a perfect game to fit in uh, between some downtime. Um, Great combo right there by Dave. Yeah, big time. Eddie's going to try to throw a deuce here, maybe even a three, and try to get Dave to stick it to bust. Uh, drags up, up on him. him. He still doesn't mind that. He's hoping Dave sticks this way. Uh, again, folks at home, um, I have had more fun playing this game against myself. Literally, I shoot a blue weight, then I shoot a red weight. It is, you know, people are like, oh, I've never played. I don't have anybody to play with. I have literally had more fun playing against myself in this game than I would playing 20% of all shuffleboard players in a game to 15, just because it's just not that exciting. This game is fun. Uh, it's, it's a great way to, to learn the game is to just play a, a frame, you know, play a game against yourself. Uh, you'd be surprised, and you're going to find yourself thinking, on shots when you when you're up on yourself five to four or five to six you're going to find yourself in situations like wow i can't believe you know by sticking that way now i've got all these options open uh and it, it can be overwhelming for a new player to, to jump into this playing you know guys like eddie or roger that are proficient or, or josh or junior um, it can be difficult because they they don't understand the strategy and you know these guys have been playing for decades a lot of them and they don't they don't want to feel like a noob a newbie uh, in the game. It's not comfortable to them. Um, you know, one one old timer that, that took to the game really, really well, uh, Bill Melt just absolutely loves it. I'll, I'll let Josh tell you. Yeah, me and Bill over the past year, we have played 10 times as many maze games as we have shuffleboard. He absolutely loves it. Um, we go down to the bar and we play $20 oh. games all day oh, long. We got action here. Uh, Kaiton just hopped a weight. This must be Eddie's. He's so. really still not in bad trouble here since he has the hammer. Mm -hmm. but if, if Eddie can get a light deuce in here, yeah. we could have some action. Yes, yeah, so a light deuce would have him busting. But with, uh, with two remaining weights from both players, yeah, so it's an action frame. Let's see what Dave tries to do here. I don't like a stick on the, the deep weight. I think the right play here is to blast the short, trying the combo. Exactly. Uh, if he tries to stick that deep weight and Eddie goes in there and bumps him buried, uh, and that's ex Yeah, he's trying to stick the short weight. He's trying to stick the short weight into the combo. He's trying to bump him up, actually. Oh, wow. It's kind of a mul yeah. multi-way shot I like there. it. I like it. That was, that was a very aggressive shot. Gave him a lot of opportunities there. He kind of took away. He's going to have to fire a right rail down there to hit that red weight. I don't know if that's Dave's favorite shot in, his book, in the book. Well, and I wonder if that that red where it's sitting, if it's a good, if it's a good stick. Let's see if Eddie tries to beat the blue here. And he is trying to beat the blue. Is that rail going to? That rail's going to dump. These rails are tough out here. Uh, they're, these are definitely tournament boards. Uh, there's nothing given to you out on these boards. If, if you take a good, perfect line, it will it will hold its line. And Dave just hopped 
uh, we're going to six to six. Again, this is a classic maze frame coming up. You'll see, uh, you'll see Eddie try and place a deep one down there, hopefully where he doesn't think Kaiton. Here's can the stick thing: it. whenever you start out a game, if you tell if you tell me I can get to six six with the hammer against another pro, I'll take it right there. So. Dave's in a good spot right here. Eddie has to try and make something happen. And Eddie is putting a deep one and right Dave, in the middle. He, he, thinks that that's, uh, he thinks that's where Kaiton will be least likely to stick. Now, uh, okay, Eddie's going for the bump berry. I love it. I love it. One of my favorite shots in this game. <laughs> and he hits and goes, and that's okay. So if Eddie was trying to bump Dave's weight, down to a deuce if he can get it to somehow bury in there. I mean, that's just one of the sickest shots in this game. And he's going for it again. And he has missed it again. But he's still he's still in a position where Dave's What Dave's have doing here by throwing these short weights is he's saying that I'm going to stick this last weight. Exactly. Eddie has to hit and go here without hitting his red weight, and then Dave's going to try to stick that deep one. And Eddie has successfully hit and so gone. So here we go. Dave has a chance to stick here for the game. Stick for the game. There's a left span. Pretty firm. Not so sure about that speed. Wow. Not so sure about that speed. You know, that's a perfect opportunity to throw a soft stick. If you soft, like super soft stick, you've MZ got an opportunity. You got an opportunity, yes, MZ ones, but you got an opportunity to bump that weight to a deuce, as well as stick it. Eddie's the one who really started that shot, and it's a correct shot. You, it is. You throw it at a three speed, trying to lag a three right at that weight, and if you knock it off and stick, great. If you bump it up to a three, hit and go, you still win. It gives you so many more angles. Absolutely. You know, by throwing it that soft, you're going to be able to hold those rails on a on a port like that. That shot that Dave just hit. If you would have thrown it even softer. There's a good chance it 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 hangs on the rail. It does not fall off. So Eddie, right there, it looked like he was trying to stick that weight. He's just he's just looking at the line. Yep. There's all he's doing. He was. He's seeing what what that weight did. Yeah, I think Eddie really likes that spot. I and think so, uh, he's going to try to do what we just said. He's okay. going to throw it at a three speed at the at the end. And uh, Dave has decided that he likes that spot as well. He's just going to leave it. Now, the only other option for Dave would be to stick his own Eddie weight and roll is, it somewhere. Eddie's bumping at this time. Eddie, okay. okay. Yeah, he uh, he checked the line I don't know first. About, I don't know about this. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm in love with that shot right there. I guess uh, now he can now take his red weight off. And Kaiton again. He likes the the setup here. Eddie's going to go ahead and blast his own weight off. And he has successfully done that. Now Kaiton has to throw this weight he off. He has to throw it off, and Eddie's got a stick for the game. This is where you want to be. Now, now again, Eddie's going to soft stick this. He's I not guess when Eddie came up short last week, he was really learning the line and left it there on purpose. So now he knows the line. And now, yeah, he's going to try to stick or bump it. Did he throw it? I don't know. He's asking for it to go. Oh, yeah, he got it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What a there shot. There it is. There it is. There it is. Classic 6-6 six, six frame. Instead of sticking medium speed, Eddie opted for a soft stick, and he bumped to a deuce Seven for the win. Seven or bust. Busted him. Yep. Busted him. So we're, we're going to have a very janky semifinal coming up. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll try to see if we can get That's Dave K and Travis up in the booth for you guys to yeah now they can criticize us we're gonna pass it off thank y'all